They're handed over to each other to suffer. And then when their flesh dies, they get marshaled into hell based on what they've done in this life. All those who don't obey God through me. And we'll get to that definitive. Already you should have a good feel for why I'm Christ, okay? Because other people simply aren't putting in things in terms of martial arts. If they are, they're, you know, and I doubt they are, they're in the military or some, or they're in some, some organization that isn't persecuted, that doesn't allow people to be a part of it if they're persecuted for righteousness sake. You see what I'm saying? The American martial arts studio or any other martial arts system on the planet, okay? Those who are confused about this are very, very stupid. And if you're that dumb, there's nothing I can tell you to convince you that I'm Christ anyway. So, you know, there you go. Okay, so remember that they're changing my voice. This is part two. You know, I'm starting after that very short clip because I went a little over time last time. Um, we were talking about water in the part one and how folly is an unruly woman who says stolen water is sweet and food eaten in secret is delicious. Okay, and obviously folly is wrong. Okay, the unruly woman is... The unruly woman is mistaken. So let's go to Proverbs 10.10. 10. The mouth of the righteous is a fountain of life, but the mouth of the wicked conceals violence. Okay, so the mouth of the wicked conceals violence. What is violence, right? MMA fighting, senseless fighting, wars, wars in Gaza, right? Even Hamas is senseless violence, right? That's why... A lot of people consider them terrorists, but it's more than their opinion. It's the fact that they don't have the highest cause. They're just fighting an oppressive nation. And so they're also just being violent without a higher cause. So it's senseless violence, right? We need wisdom and judgment and sense, right? Justice. Justice and justification are words that are connected. You need to justify the violence or you're just a wicked person whose actions conceal violence in various ways you could be a, an mma fighter okay and, and trying to be like a gentleman but you make money from being violent and promoting violence right a ufc fighter right and that's stupid the word ufc is even f-u-c scrambled right and that's that's you know it has to do with erotic desire and of course they promote that as well and god is love so when we see the waters right the waters represent the waters of life the waters of love, right? The way you live your life is, is loving. The water also represents pure love. And nobody else has pure love. It's just me. Okay. We'll get to that in another video or so. So we go down to verse 20. It says, The tongue of the righteous is choice silver, but the heart of the wicked is of little value. So silver can represent insight. It's usually what it represents here. It represents insight. Okay. We know this from various scriptures. If you have any questions about it, put in the comments. And so the actions of the righteous reflect insight, reflect the choicest insight. But the heart of the wicked doesn't allow it to be discerning. Okay, It's their callous heart. They're unfeeling. They're insensitive hearts. They're not insightful. They don't have sense. They're not discerning. And of course, you know, even in, in Japanese martial arts, you see that the, the teacher... Is often called sensei, right? Sense A, sense alpha, because they're trying to represent themselves, for better or worse, as someone having sense, right, to a higher degree. Which goes back to martial arts, right? Monotheistic Royal African Falcon martial arts is the true order of God. And those who whose actions reflect that they're not pointing to that definitively and clearly. Like it says in the Bible, Christ says in the end he's going to speak plainly. They have hearts that are too selfish to do so so they're of little value so those who cheat me out of my right to lead okay are wicked for one reason or another right it comes wickedness comes with folly it comes with being stupid it comes with being selfish and reckless and so on and so forth and not with the white man scale or the jewish scale but with a universal scale for example why do i say white and jewish because you know they're trying to pretend that they're chosen by God, right? With the Da Vinci Code, with the Royal Family of England and false idols, and with the Jewish people saying they're chosen in Israel and part of their, their military propaganda is them pretending to be chosen by God. And they act like they can do no wrong. A lot of Jews themselves have called them out on it Why they are doing perhaps a lesser version of the same thing. But they're also, you know, in their own way, unless they're uh, a non-religious Jew, but in a sense that too, in their own way, they're pretending that they're chosen. So I'm not going to, you know, take shots at some homeless person who doesn't pretend he's homeless, say he's homeless, Hispanic person or something. 
okay? I'm not going to correct them for no reason. But I am going to, you know, aim the majority of my corrections where God would have me aim it at those people who are trying their hardest to cheat me as groups. Okay. Many questions about collective guilt or complicity or being part and partial, uniform and uniformity, uniformity and guilt, uniformity and culture, cultural uniformity. Put in the comments. Okay. The lips of the righteous nurse. Okay, so we're going down to verse 21. It's actually the next verse after that. The lips of the righteous nourish many, but fools die for lack of sense. The lips of the righteous, the actions of the righteous, my, my actions actually are giving people some nourishment even if they cheat me because when they hear my words, they're hearing sense and they feel a little bit better on some deep level, though they're still going to hell because they're not obeying God through me. So, though my actions are nourishing many spiritually, right? Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness sake, for there's the kingdom of heaven. They still die for lack of sense because they, you have one teacher, that's me, the Messiah, and you didn't let me teach you. You didn't come in submission. Therefore, you're not truly being taught because you lacked humility. We'll get to that in a later video. Verse 23, a fool finds pleasure in wicked schemes, but a person of understanding delights in wisdom. So some of you might ask, well, why are you bringing this up when we're talking about Proverbs 34? We're going to work our way toward Proverbs 34 with these scriptures, and you're going to see how it refers to, you know, the ideas of the water and the wind and the cloak, okay, and who's who, what it means to go up to heaven and come back down, right? So in Proverbs 8, for example, it says, wisdom calls out at the highest point by the city, by the city gates. Okay, so do you have to ascend on the in the way of righteousness along the path of justice, right? Proverbs eight twenty tells us the path, right? Proverbs twelve, I want to say twenty six or twenty eight says, in the way of righteousness there is life. Along that path is immortality. So that's the way to go up to heaven and come back down. But only one has really done that, and that's me. Everyone else has to kind of enter through me, and and try to be one with me as I am one with God, so that they could then be one with God. But there's no ascending past me. Only I have gone up to heaven and been at God's right hand and come back down without being evil, without losing the spirit. Okay. So a fool finds pleasure in wicked schemes, but a person of understanding delights in wisdom. So those who have wicked schemes in their hearts, in their minds, in their intentions, clearly are going to be punished, you know, by the Proverbs 34, uh, 30 verse 4 process. Okay, the, hold the winds in the fist, the marshalling force of God, marshalling them to hell. Verse 24, what the wicked dread will overtake them, what the righteous desire will be granted. So like the wind is overtaking them, the water, water will overflow your hiding place. Uh, Isaiah 28, 17, right? Hail will sweep away your refuge, the lie, right? It'll overtake you, right? And your refuge and water will overflow your hiding place. It will overtake your hiding place. Instead of you overcoming the wickedness of the world, God's punishment will overcome you. Verse 25 also makes it clear that I'm right to put it this way. Listen very carefully. When the storm, the word used here is storm. When the storm has swept by, the wicked are gone, but the righteous will stand firm forever. So instead of you becoming one with Christ, when my hands, when I hold the wind in my fists, okay, when I, I wrap up the waters in a cloak, you know, you weren't righteous standing firm with me, so you're catching wreck by the essence of what those elements symbolize. Right? The clouds, the martial art force of God, a collection of righteousness, the storm clouds, right? Lightning and thunder, right? We see in Job, lightning in God's hands, and so on and so forth. Verse 26. As vinegar to the teeth and smoke to the eyes, so sluggers to those who send them. Now, vinegar, again, is a watery substance, right? You want to wash your teeth. Wash the vinegar off your teeth if you eat something with vinegar in it, right? Brush it off your teeth, right? And you see the smoke, right? It's in the air, right? So the wind, right? Either the, you're getting hit by the smoke, the figurative smoke, okay? Or, you know, you are standing firm with me and I'm controlling the wind, so I'm your refuge, right? God is in me, and if you come through my, me and I'm the gates to come to the essence of me and, and by, put your soul by mine, it, is an, it has a refuge from the storm. Okay. They're making it a little harder for me to speak, but, you know, bear with me. We're almost done with this video. All right. Um, verse 29. The way of the Lord is a refuge for the blameless, 
but it is a, it is the ruin for of those who do evil right the way of the lord right the way exodus 15 3 the lord is the word the lord is his name right name right it's his warrior way the root and offspring of david right david the warrior king right and the bright and morning star okay it is the way the truth and the life right what is the truth about the nature of god god is love god almighty god is a god of justice as it says in uh, psalm 50 okay he's known by his acts of righteousness and justice it says in isaiah and psalms okay god is a warrior it is a warrior way. It's a monotheistic way. Hebrew is an afro language. Amos 9.7, it says that the same as the Israelites, the same as the Cushites. And in uh, Genesis 10, it says, Ham begot Cush, Cush begot Nimrod, and Nimrod founded Babylon. It's the Royal African Falcon Martial Art Order. 